Hello everybody and welcome back to Shanika Owens TV. In this video, I will be doing a second haul at CVS for the week of 421 through 427. Now, normally I do not do the second week at CVS shopping because I do most of my deals throughout the first week, but I could not pass up on doing some spend 30 get 10s and they came out to be money makers without any of those big flash deal CRTs. And that was really awesome for me, but everything came out to be free and a five cents money maker i only did a total of three transactions and between all three i saved 235.65 but we also have money maker cover girl again this week but again guys you do not need any of those flash deal crts to shop this week at cvs because i did it all and it was free and a five cents money maker i want to say if you guys are not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you are subscribed to my channel make sure your notification bells are on so you'll be notified when i post a new video and please give the video a big thumbs up share the video and comment down below but if you guys want to see how i got all this for free without any of those flash deal crts then keep on watching I just got in from doing my second week with the CVS bi-weekly ad for the week of 421 through 427. Normally, I do not shop the second week um, at, at CVS because I get majority of my deals during the first week. But this week, I wanted to do some spend 30, get 10s. I want to stock up on some Lysol Air. I love that. And I also want to get some more laundry items. So I went back and did that. Now, mind you, I don't have any of those special CRTs. I only got the CRTs that CVS gave me. And I do have some that I got from last week that expired today. And I want to take advantage of using those. But I don't have any of those flash deal CRTs like use the 20% through uh, Friday through Monday, I believe. And get those like 10 off 70, 20 off 100. I did not have any of those because I did not shop on Friday. So I knew I was going to pick up some deals that were a part of the spend 30 get 10. And just made it work. And it came out to be a really awesome little small haul today. So I was going to go out anyway. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just plan a run in CVS um, to do a little couple of deals. And it came out to be a really awesome haul. So I only did a total of three transactions and FYI, the CRTs did reset. I did not go crazy with CoverGirl. I could have got like probably the same moneymaker as last week, but I did not have any of those big threshold CRTs, excuse me, to work with. So I worked with what I had and it still came out to be a really great haul without any of those CRTs. So with that being said, I did three transactions. I will pop on the screen what the new CRTs were. They are repeat from last week, but they did reset. So first thing I did on this card with no big threshold CRTs, CoverGirl at buy three, get 10. So I picked up three CoverGirl I at 579. So all three total me 1737. We do have, I use three of those, $3 off CoverGirl I. We have one of our app and I use them from today's safe insert. And I also use that three off cover girl or Sally Hansen CRT. So I paid the 537, got back the 10 for buying three, making those free and a 463 moneymaker. I did Clairol hair color at buy two, get four. So I picked up two of those at 999 and both totaled me a 19 and 98. I used two of those Clairol Bobo coupons. We have a digital coupon. And the insert coupon from today's save, they both will take off $8.99. So you'll pay two, getting back the four, making those free, and a $2 moneymaker. I combined the Gillette deals because I had an 8 off 30 Gillette uh, shave CRT. So I did the disposables at um, $6.99, buy two, get six. So I picked up two of the men disposables at $6.99, and both totaled me $13.98. And I had a three off Gillette disposable digital coupon. I also did the regular Venus and Gillette Raiders at buy two, get eight, and they're buy one, get one half off. So I picked up two of the Gillette Mach 3s, and they were 
half off at 564. So both total me 16.93. And I did have a three off any Gillette regular digital coupon in my app. So combined with the buy two get eight and the buy two get six, my total product coupons was $30.91. I used both of those digital coupons. Three off for Gillette regular razors and disposable. And I use that eight off 30 Gillette shave and CRT. So I paid $16.91. Got back the eight for buying two of the regular Gillette. And I got back six for buying two of the Gillette disposables. Making a final cost for all for $2.91 or $0.72 cents each. That's not a bad deal for those, especially for the regular Gillette razors. But to get those for $0.72 cents each was a really good deal. So I could not pass up on that. So for this first transaction, it only includes the CoverGirl, the Clairol, and both of the Gillette deals. So my total for everything was $24.28, but I got back $28 in extra care bucks. I got $10 for CoverGirl, $4 for Clairol, $8 for regular Gillette razors, and then $6 for the disposables. So I, got, I paid $24.28 and got back $28, making this first transaction free and a 372 money maker so first transaction there's the gillette uh disposables the gillette mark 3 cover girl and then clairol you can see everything came off the cover girl came off the clairol uh double dip my 8 off 30 gillette and my 3 off cover girl had nine items to pay 228 plus tax save 7503 with a 97 percent savings and i got back to four for buying two of the clairol Eight for buying two of the Gillette, six for buying two of the Gillette disposables, and then ten for buying three of the CoverGirl. Now, my second transaction, again, without any of those CRTs, I did CoverGirl again at buy three, get ten. So I picked up three more CoverGirl eye products at $5.79, and all three totaled me $17.37. I used those same coupons, three of those three off CoverGirl eye, the one in my app. And then two for my 421 save. And I use that three off um, CoverGirl or Sally Hansen CRT that we are I getting today at the Red Box. So again, I paid 537 getting back to 10 for buying three, making those free and a 463 moneymaker. I did Clairol again at buy to get four. So I picked up two more of those at $9.99. And both total me $19.98. I used two of those below Clairol coupons. The one in the app and the one from our 421 save today both took off $8.99. So again, I paid the two, getting back the four, making those free, and a two dollar moneymaker. I did my spend 30 get 10 guys with only one CRT, but not a big threshold CRT. So my, for my spend 30 get 10, I picked up one per seal at $6.99. I picked up one snuggle dryer sheet 80 count at $4.29. One Downy V 7.8 ounce at $7.29. One small space um, at $4.29. And then two light saw wipes at $5.79 and half off at $2.89. So both of those total me $8.68. I use a $2 off per sale from our $4.21 save today. I use um a dollar off for the snuggle. And I will pop on the screen because I forgot what insert they came out of. I believe it's from today. I'm not sure, but I'll put it on the screen. I had a two-off snuggle of CRT from last week. I used expires today. I had a two-off for the Downy Bees in my app. I had that two thirty off digit for the small space. And I had two dollar off for the Lysol wipes. One in my app and a printable. So I paid... Um, so my total product coupons was $31.54 for my spend 30 get 10. So I used all of those coupons and paid $20.24. And I got back the 10 for spending 30. Plus, I got a dollar on Ibotta for the snuggle. I got a dollar times two for the Lysol wipes. I got a dollar fifty for the downy beads. And I got a dollar fifty for the Persil. They did not have the disc. I want to pick up the disc, but they did not have those. So I got what I got. So I got a total back of $6 on Ibotta. Making the final cost for my spend 30 get 10 with only one CRT, $4.24, or making each product only 70 cents each. Now that's not bad, only using one CRT, and I did not have a big threshold CRT. So again, 
My total product coupons were $31.54. Using all of my coupons and my one two-hour off snuggle CRT, I paid $20.24. Got back the 10 for spending $30 and a total of six on Ibotta. Making the final cost for my spend 30 gets in $4.24 or 70 cents each. So for this transaction, it only includes the cover girl, Clairol. Oh, and I did one more thing in this transaction. I did uh any Neutrogena cosmetic at buy three get ten. So I wanted to pick up three of the makeup wipes because I love those wipes, but they only had two. So I picked up two of the makeup removal wipes, 21 count at $6.79. And I picked up one of the makeup removers at $6.79 as well. So all three totaled me $20.37. I had a $5.20 for any Neutrogena Cosmetic or Makeup CRT. So I paid $15.37. Got back the $10 for buying three. Making those $5.37 for all three or just $1.79 each. So now I'm done. So with this second transaction, it includes CoverGirl, Clairol, Neutrogena, and my Spend 30 Get 10. My total after using all of my coupons and CRTs was $42.98, but I got back $34 of extra care bucks and then six on Ibotta. So I paid um, $42.98, got back a total of $34 of extra care bucks. I got 10 for CoverGirl, four for Clairol, 10 for Neutrogena again, and then my spend 30 get 10, and then six on Ibotta, making this second transaction only $2.98 out of pocket. Not bad at all, considering I did the spend 30 get 10 with only a little snuggle CRT. So again, I paid $42.98, got back $34 of extra care bucks, and then six on Ibotta. So that totaled me $40 total back, making this second transaction only $2.98 out of pocket. Second transaction there to snuggle, Purcell, Downy Bees, Febreze, Small Space, Lysol, CoverGirl, and Neutrogena, and then Clairol. You can see everything came off. The Clairol double dipped, Lysol came off. The Downy Bees, Small Space, CoverGirl. There's a Clairol double dip. My 5 off 20 for Neutrogena. Three off CoverGirl and Sally Hansen, and my two off snuggle CRT. I have 14 items to pay $4.98 plus tax. I saved $93.68 with a 95% savings. And in return, I got the four for two Clairol, the 10 for uh, buying three Neutrogena, the 10 for buying three CoverGirl, and then make sure I cover this up. And then my uh 10 for spending 30. So my third and final transaction, again, no CRTs. So I want to do a spend 30 get 10 with the Lysol Air, and I did that. So with my spend 30 get 10 for this third transaction, I picked up four of the Lysol Air, and they were $10.99 at my store, then half off at $5.49. So all four totaled me $32.96. Now I did use four $3 off for the Lysol Air. Those coupon expired, but they are really non-expiring. And I did get them from my coupon fairy. And her link is in my description box below. So I did use those expired uh, Lysol Air. And also the Lysol coupons are non-expiring as well. So I used three of those, three off Lysol Air printables. So I paid $20.96. I'm using those four uh, coupons. But I got back $10 for spending $30. Then I submitted my receipt to Ibotta for $3 times four for the Lysol Air. Making those... Making my spend 30 get 10 rather free and a dollar and four cents moneymaker because my total product coupons was $32.96. I used four of those three off coupons, paid $20.96, got back my 10. Then I got back 12 on I bought it for the Lysol Air, making my spend 30 get 10 free and a dollar and four cents moneymaker. Then I cannot pass up on Copper Tone because even though I did not have a Sun Care CRT, they were still pretty cheap. So Copper Tone is spend 20, get 10. So I picked up these and not the Sun Care owl, but in like the um, Easter and all of that owl, like that, that's where I found them at. So those were $11.49, the Copper Tone, the SPF 30. Those were $11.49, so two totaled me $22.98. Now, I thought we were going to get a four off two digital coupon, but still, we got a four off one digital coupon. And I used a hang tag from the Copper Tone product that I found on the hang, um, product in the store. So, using the four off one and a two off for the um, hang tag, I paid $16.98. Got back 
got back the um 10 for spending 20. Then I submitted my receipt to I bought it for 250 times two. And I also got back a 25 cents on any receipt. So I got back 525. So I paid 16.98. Got back the 10 for spending 20. And then um 5.25 on Ibotta. Making those copper tone 173 or 86 cents each. I think that's correct. 86 cents each. Yeah. Not bad for copper tone, even without any uh sun care CRT. So for my third transaction, I only had the uh, spin 30 get 10 with the lifestyle air, and I did copper tone. So combined, I paid $37.94, but I got back a total of let me see. Got back a total of, so I have to make sure my math was right. So my total was $37.94. And I got back $20 in extra care bucks. I got the 10 for spending 30. And I got the 10 for spending 20 with copper tone. Plus, I got back a total of $17.25 on Ibotta, guys. Yeah. $17.25. That's three times four for the lifestyle air. And two fifty times two for the copper tone. And then 25 cents for any receipt. So that's a total of $17.25 back when I bought them. So again, I paid $37.94, got back $20 in ECBs, and $17.25 on I bought them, making my third transaction only $0.69 cents out of pocket. You cannot beat that, guys. I got the Lysol, Air, and Copper Tone, and my out-of-pocket cost for all six items was only $0.69 cents out of pocket. Third and final transaction, there's for the Lysol, Air, and two copper tone. Uh, you can see the copper tone digital came off, and that uh, all lifestyle coupons scan with no issues. I have six items pay zero plus tax, save sixty six ninety four with a hundred percent savings, and I got back the ten for spending thirty, and I got back the ten for spending twenty on copper tone. So now we're gonna talk my final cost for my overall haul today at CVS without using any big threshold CRTs. So my first transaction was free in a 372 money maker. My second was 298 out of pocket and my third was only 69 cents out of pocket. So once you factor in what I pay out of pocket which was 298 and then 69 cents, that totals me 367. And my first transaction was free in a 372 money maker. So once you deduct 367 from 372 it makes my final cost at CVS today not only free, but a little old five cents money maker. And you cannot beat that because I did pick up some laundry items and some Lysol air and then copper tone and everything was still free and a five cents money maker. Now, had I would have done CoverGirl again like four times with all four cars, it would have been maybe like uh, close to my last week of money maker haul. But still, guys, I got all of this without any threshold CRTs for free and a five cents money maker at a total of 29 items and i saved a total of 235.65 so you guys cannot beat that so again guys that was it for my cvs haul i went out and like i was going out anyway so i'm like why not and everything was still free today and not going crazy with cover girl and a five cents money maker so that's it for my cvs haul for the second week i haven't done it in quite some time since the new bi-weekly ad but it was all worth going out today and picking up this free haul and a five cents money maker. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you all in my next one. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful to see. During the second week, this time at CVS, I did go out and shop and my haul was completely free and a little old five cents money maker. But some really good deals, especially for my spend 30 get 10 with the Lysol Air was a money maker without any CRTs. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel, guys. Thank you all so, so much for subscribing to my channel. And thank you to all my old subscribers as well. Coming back each and every week, watching my videos, sharing my videos, liking my videos, and doing all of that good jazz. You guys know I appreciate you all so much. Can't thank you all enough. And I'll see you all in my next one.